We're nine months into the pandemic. So much has changed, like for me, for the world, of course, and everything else. And I'm just like, I have so many thoughts in my head right now, and I just want to get it out. Like, just get it out with the internet. I don't know. Hi, Imani Black here. Yeah, I haven't made a video in a long, long time. I know this, but I'm here today. It's November, nope, excuse me. It is December 13th. We are nine months, literally nine months into the pandemic. I remember stuff started closing down on March 13th, Friday the 13th, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I remember, um, yeah, so. <laughs> so yeah, like number one, <laughs> what the f Why are we in a pandemic? Actually, listen. You can just Google why we're in a pandemic, but yeah, it sucks how we had to start the beginning of the year in a pandemic. It's just like, I had so many plans for this year. All that really happened for me personally is that I had to redirect some stuff and re-figure some stuff out, but I had a lot of plans this year. I started a business, shout out to Pink Era Company. I had like an idea for my show, Day With Dallas which was supposed to like have a new show this year, but we've kind of, I just had to re-evolve it. Um, and then like for myself as well, I was gonna do more YouTube videos. There's no excuse for that piece to be honest, but, and then the world as well. It's like, we finally got freaking Trump out. Like I voted, I actually did not plan to vote um, initially. I was like, Trump is just gonna rig the election again. Like, and he's such a crook, like I just like, and then he, here you go with his crooked ways, trying to sue to win the election. It's like, dude, you lost. Georgia recounted three times. These states keep counting and counting and counting. It's like, dude, you lost. And now you're trying to freaking, anyways, fuck, fuck Trump. In brighter news, we do have like, you know, a chance of a vaccine or rather we, or rather we do have a vaccine. Um, the FDA just approved the vaccine for the US. They've already started in the UK. And it's kind of crazy because I don't know, I don't trust American scientists. That's why I'm like, I don't know about this vaccine. Like I'm afraid of the zombie apocalypse. Yes, I'm one of those people. American scientists have been like, you know, reckless, racist, sexist. And it's just like, how are black people going to be affected in the future? This is really my concern, you know? And how are others, how are black people and other groups gonna be affected by this? Like, is there something just inherently where like we get sick? Like, I don't know. And then like I saw something in Australia, they're giving like false positive HIV tests from the vaccine and they just abandoned the whole trial or whatever. I'm like, what the fuck is this? crazy i'm not gonna lie i fear the zombie apocalypse i will say that i've tweeted it i it's true <laughs> i do believe that but i just i don't know it's just kind of a weird thing to me that we have a vaccine all of a sudden and it's i'm very glad that we have some hope in medicine for sure it's just i don't know i'm a little scared but you know, this is someone who didn't want a flu shot for until literally this year, but we'll see. I'm probably gonna get it, but it will probably be like, I just need to see for like a year what's going on because I just need to see what's going on for another year. I'm gonna keep it above. How I'm staying busy during this pandemic is sleeping, eating, working out, I feel like I've just gotten into a routine or I'm getting into a routine because I definitely don't have one, but I just like work out. I don't really hang out with my friends. I go grocery shopping. I go eat alone. Damn. <laughs> I be alone. I be alone, but I'm making it and I'm very happy about it. I feel like I've changed so much. Like if you knew me in March, honestly, if you knew me last week, you don't know me. I don't know you. It is what it is. Not I'm playing, but I just feel like I've learned and grown so much as a person, done a lot of self-reflection, mended relationships, broke relationships, set boundaries within the relationships that really matter and with people in my life that really matter. I just realized I was letting like a lot of like, was not living for myself, was not living the best way that I wanted to live, um, was allowing like disingenuous people to be in my world and have like a truly active space in my world. I was having dealing with overactive friendships as well, um, which I've learned I can't do those. And those aren't real for me. Like, as in like, if they are overactive, it's like, why are you being so fake? Like, why are we overcompensating each other is how I feel now. 
or what are we trying to hide? Who are we trying to prove what to? So I'm like okay with like not having overactive friendships anymore. I'm proud because damn, I didn't know. Like I had to live a better life for myself because it's me, my life, my world. I mean, what? Other thoughts? Twitter is a cesspool. Um, I'm on Twitter, yes, but I've actually been doing really good these past couple of weeks with weaning myself off Twitter. <laughs> Since I've retreated and because I know what I know, what I know about Twitter, um, I just use it purposefully. But speaking of Twitter, follow me on there because I am a little, I'm a little chatty sometimes. I'm very funny. Um, also, Instagram. Instagram is the feds. I'll say that too. <laughs> In a lot of ways, but I'm not going to elaborate because I... I like me some Instagram. Um, I do like Instagram. That's my main. Instagram is my, mm-hmm. Yeah, Instagram is actually my main way of like social media and everything like that. So if you wanna follow me, actually don't even think about it. Just follow me, follow me on Instagram at Imani Black. <laughs> I got my name, I used to have to use an underscore because I had Imani Black initially, but I changed my name so often. I was the original Imani Black on Instagram, but then like I changed my name or deleted accounts and stuff like that. So like, I just got the name back literally today, December 13th. And I've been checking for it since Saturday or since Friday when I noticed that it was available. And I'm just like, yes, God, God is looking out for me. Cause I've been wanting that name back for so long. Twitter, you're next, give me my name back. I was deleting accounts like Man, when I tell you I've learned since then, I have trauma from that because like I can't, I mean, anyways. Huh, I'm not going to go into my social media trauma today. Um, but yeah, like, and I just want to say like with all this going on, if you're able to, I will say like a lot of privilege goes into surviving this pandemic. But I know a lot of people who lost their jobs at the beginning of the pandemic and it's such a sad thing. It's so sad. Um, when you lose that source of income, especially when you have a family too. I've just seen so much and it's like, I just been really like, really being thankful for what I have and being grateful. And really like, that's why I'm like, so hell bent on being happy and making sure that I'm being purposeful with my life because I would feel like I was just living. I was definitely having fun, of course, but I'm like, I wasn't spiritually where I am now. I wasn't like mentally where I am now in a lot of ways. And it's like those two things are so important to me now and help me with so many other aspects of my life. And I'm disciplined at this moment in that I've been working out for the past two weeks straight. And I was just doing it because um, I wanted to really. But I got like a modeling thing going on this Friday. So it's like, dang, I'm glad I did. I'm gonna follow me. I'm glad I did um, start being disciplined with the working out because my stomach wasn't as flat as I like it to be. And I was like, I don't like it. Let me get back in this gym and be consistent and stop eating trash. Even though I am gonna eat, I'm just gonna eat popcorn today. I haven't even eaten. Oh yes, I did. I had oatmeal and I didn't. I This is the first time I've made oatmeal and it did not overspill and mess up my stove top. Hallelujah. But really, like, I just want to encourage everyone, like, let's just make it through. Keep striving, keep thriving, keep doing what you got to do to survive. And I'm not even going to say, like, be productive and this and that. Like, no. I mean, I believe in it for myself, to be honest. But I've even taken breaks for myself with, like, my business, Pink Era Company, um, Day with Dallas. Like, I just kind of, like, I'm not feeling, I don't feel forced or and I'm not self-inflicting any timeline on myself because it's, like, Whose timeline are you on other than yourself? Like figure it out for you. Figure it out for you is my thing. I'm just trying to make it, you know, we got a vaccine going on, so maybe things will be back to normal soon. Let me know what you think about when this pandemic is gonna be over, or we can go back to like being normal and like not wearing masks. <laughs> and let me know your thoughts on the vaccine as well. Yeah, like let me know your thoughts Follow me on Instagram at Imani Black and follow me on Twitter, Imani Black underscore. And I'm also on Pinterest, <laughs> Imani Black underscore. Let's, let's talk, let's keep in contact. Like, 
I'm gonna be making more videos. I wanted to make a video this year for sure. So guess what? Here's this video. I'll catch up with you guys in the next video. Take good care of yourself now. You hear? No funny business. Take care of yourself for real. All right, I'll see you guys another time. Bye.